Hello, this is TJR, and if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. In 1975, John Bonham, the legendary and thunderous drummer of Led Zeppelin, found himself upset by a poll conducted by Playboy magazine that ranked Karen Carpenter, the drummer for the Carpenters, higher than him in their list of the best drummers in the world. The Playboy magazine poll ranked Carpenter at number five and Bonham at number six. And apparently, John Bonham was not happy. Witness to this fact was Vanity Fair journalist Lisa Robinson, who was in the band's dressing room the night Bonham was made aware of the Playboy poll. In what was described as a drunken conversation with Lisa Robinson, Bonham referred to himself being ranked beneath her as a load of and angrily stated that Karen Carpenter couldn't last 10 minutes with a Led Zeppelin song. And I'm sure that there are at least a few of you out there who are thinking, well, you know, he's right. Now, I will be among the first to state what an influential powerhouse John Bonham was and still is, not just to rock and roll, but to outside genres as well, like hip hop. In fact, given the amount of times that hip hop has sampled Led Zeppelin, perhaps it's time for Led Zeppelin to be inducted into the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. But I digress. Karen Carpenter may have had a beautiful singing voice, but she's no John Bonham. And I would agree with you. But I would also add that John Bonham is no Karen Carpenter. Now, to better understand what I'm talking about, I would like you to just watch a short little clip of Karen playing drums and singing the classic song, Dancing in the Streets, written by Marvin Gaye and William Stevenson and made popular by Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. Hopefully this clip doesn't get flagged for copyright. Carpenter's brother, Richard Carpenter, once stated that Karen always saw herself as a drummer who just happened to also sing. At the beginning of her career as half of the sibling duo, the Carpenters, Karen was the full-time drummer during their live shows. But in time, she would be moved away from the drums and into the spotlight as the front person. And by the time of her sad and tragic death in 1983, Karen Carpenter's talents as a singer had completely overshadowed her skills as a drummer in the eyes of the general public. Growing up, I felt that she had one of the most beautiful, angelic voices that I had ever heard. And in 1983, her passing was very sad for me. But at the time, I was, like most of the general public, completely unaware of her talents as a drummer. As you can see from the preceding clip, she was not only a very technically skilled drummer who could play well, but also one of those rare few who could sing and play at the same time. As a musician myself, I can attest to the fact that singing well is a skill set. Playing a musical instrument well is its own separate skill set. Each one requires a lot of hard work to master. And if you are doing your job well, you never really stop learning how to do each one better. But synchronizing both at the same time is a separate and unique skill set unto itself. And it is not one that every musician is able to master. But synchronizing both at the same time is a separate and unique skill set unto itself. And it is not one that every musician is able to master. Even in 1975, with women's lib still being a buzzword, women were not taken as seriously as men in music when it came to anything beyond singing. So honestly, I have to say I was at first a bit surprised to learn that she had ranked it all in the Playboy music poll. But after thinking about it for a bit, 
I began to theorize that one reason why she would have ranked higher than John Bonham was because Hugh Hefner, and by way of extension, Playboy magazine, was more inclined to jazz than to rock. And the jazz influence shows much more obviously in Karen Carpenter than it does in John Bonham. But does she, or should she, rank above Led Zeppelin's John Bonham? The problem with that question is that it's like comparing apples to oranges. John Bonham was a rock drummer with a capital R, whereas Karen Carpenter was coming from more of a jazz space. Both very skilled and very talented, but both as different as night and day. Karen Carpenter might not have played with the thunder of John Bonham, but could John Bonham play with the precision of Karen Carpenter and also still sing at the same time. I remember many years ago getting into an argument with a fellow guitarist over the merits of Pete Townsend of The Who versus Eddie Van Halen. My fellow guitarist saw Eddie as the clear victor because of his flash and speed. And I saw it again as basically comparing apples to oranges. I told him, yes, Eddie has the crazy licks, but listen to Townsend's acoustic rhythm guitar solo on It's a Boy. It is a completely different style of playing, but in his own way. Townsend is as much a virtuoso as Eddie Van Halen. Both are very skilled and talented with their instruments. I will add that John Bonham's remarks, while made under the influence of alcohol, do reveal a certain amount of either hidden insecurity or just lack of knowledge about who he was criticizing. By way of comparison, upon learning about his reaction to the poll, Karen Carpenter responded, I hope he's not mad at me. I have nothing to do with this. Even though John Bonham insulted her skills as a drummer by saying she wouldn't last 10 minutes with a Led Zeppelin song, Karen Carpenter showed empathy for John Bonham's feelings and also mentioned that she was humbled and honored for even placing in the poll. John Bonham was, of course, again, talking through the demon that is alcohol abuse. Karen Carpenter had her own demons as well, of course, but hers weren't as obvious until probably too late. It's a shame we lost both of them. John Bonham became a drum legend, and he deserves that status. Karen Carpenter, on the other hand, was sadly moved away from the instrument of her choice in order to meet a commercial demand for her to be front and center. She deserves all the acclaim she gets as a vocalist, but I hope she will in time be also remembered for her musicianship as well. When I was a kid growing up reading comics, uh, there would always be these fun conversations of who would beat who in a fight, you know, the Thing or the Hulk. But that's not something you really want to do or not something that I care to do when it comes to musicians. I don't want to say who's the better guitarist, who's the better drummer, because to reach the stature that these musicians do, um, there is something to appreciate about all of them. This is TJR, and those are my thoughts. Let me know yours. I'm anxious to hear what you have to say in the comments. As always, if you like these videos, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. And a big thank you to my patron supporters who are helping me make more videos. Patron supporters do receive exclusive weekly videos not available on this channel. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.